Good afternoon, class. May I have your attention? Do you know any secrets? We have a lot of secrets here in the St. Clair Historical Museum. I'm your teacher, Mr. Freehand, and today we're going to talk about some of the schools in St. Clair and so tell some stories about those schools and maybe even some secrets about those schools. And the biggest secret about the schools is that the way that schools are organized today, where you have teachers and students, it's the same today as it was 200 years ago. Some of the things are different, but the ideas are re remain the same. Now, this particular object or artifact that we have is a, is a school bell. Now, teachers you might have used this 100 years ago to get students' attention, and today, do they still have devices to get your attention? Sure, it might be a buzzer, it might be something that they say, it might be a bell that the, the school rings. So the idea behind schools is the same today as it was 100 or 200 years ago. And in fact, some of the earliest schools were like the schools we have today. Children talk about being homeschooled. Well, the first schools in St. Clair were actually in homes. Children stayed at home and a teacher would come in. The teacher might be a minister or might be a businessman, but the children learned at home. Now the first schools, the actual buildings in, in St. Clair that were used as schools were called the Red School and the White School and the Yankee School. And there was a reason for these names. The Red School was made out of brick. It was originally designed as a factory, but it became a school. The White School, and the secret behind the White School, was it was named the White School because it was painted white. And then the Yankee School was up near Yankee Street on the north side of St. Clair. So there were some other schools, there were private schools in the area, and there was also the Somerville School for Girls, and that was a boarding school where children went to school there, but they also lived there, and that was up on the north side of town. Now there was another school in St. Clair, an early school, that was officially the Trumbull Street School. Well, the secret behind that particular school was that everybody called it the jail school because originally it was a St. Clair jail. And then when they didn't need it as a jail anymore, they converted it into a school. Now out in the country, there were schoolhouses also to serve the children that lived out on the farm surrounding St. Clair. Now the unique thing about these schools was that there was just one classroom and all of the children from grades, first grade on through eighth grade were all in the same classroom. And they had one teacher and the teacher taught the first grade, second grade, third grade, and all of the grades. And sometimes the eighth graders would help the younger children. But there was just one teacher and one classroom. Now the secret about those particular schools is that not only were they one room schoolhouses, but on top of the school, there was a big bell. And the bell was used to call the children to school. And if you lived within the area where you could hear the bell, then that was the school that you attended. Now we have the bell from the Keeve School here in the museum. Now the Keeve School, you can actually still see, it's, it's on Fredmore Highway as you drive towards I-94. It's now a private house because a lot of those schools, if they weren't torn down, they were converted into private homes. But in those schools, the teachers used a lot of things that they used in the school, school rooms uh, in, in the city of St. Clair. You might have had a teacher using a pointer to point out something on the, on the chalkboard. Now, do teachers use something to point out ideas on the whiteboard today? Certainly they do. You might use a cursor, you might use a mouse, you might use a, a pointer even to point out something on the whiteboard. So the idea of pointing out something to get people's attention is the same today as it was 200, 100 years ago. 100 years ago, 150 years ago, they used books. You use books today. Now the books might be different. Here's a geography book from 1886 that we have here in the museum. Now you say, what's the difference? We, have a, we might have a geog geography book in our classrooms today. What's the difference? Well, here's a map of the United States. And what's different about it is that this map shows 38 states instead of the 58, 50 states that we have today. So the content of the books might change, but the idea behind the books remains the same.
we might have we might have a fountain pen and here's a fountain pen because you're going to learn how to write and you would use this fountain pen now there would be a glass jar and this glass jar would be filled with ink and you would dip the pen into it and then you would write maybe five or six words and then the ink would need would run out and you need to dip it in again and this was sat on the edge of the desk and sometimes if you were a mischievous uh, not really following all the rules if there was a girl sitting in front of you with long hair you might have dipped her hair into that inkwell and then you get in trouble but kids still did things and they still got in trouble just like they do today now another secret that we have is that a hundred years ago children rode school buses to school in fact here's a picture of the first school bus it was owned by a husband and a wife and they leased it to the school district and they actually drove the bus and the bus could take about 20 children there were benches along each side and a bench down the middle you had in the classrooms you had desks going back 150 200 years ago the desks were different here's some pictures of what the desks might have looked like in the 1930s or the 1920s and we have some of those desks here in the museum today do you have desks in your classroom certainly you do so the idea behind desks is the same as it was 200 150 100 years ago now in one of the schools a secret about one of the schools is that here in St. Clair a group of teachers sewed together a flag and they gave it to the custodian and the custodian had the idea to build a flagpole and to fly that flag, that U.S. flag, in front of the school every school day. And we think, and this is a secret, we think that this is the first school in the United States that regularly flew a flag on a flagpole every school day. Now our last secret is our game, our activity, our contest. And here's an object, here's an object, here's an artifact. It's round and it has a string wrapped around the top and it has a pointed end. And for our contest, we're going to ask you to identify this. And what you do is take that paper that you're using, draw a line on it, put the number five, and then write the word schools next to it. And on the line, write the word that you think identifies what this artifact or this object is. I'm your teacher, Mr. Freehand, and thank you for joining us for Secrets of the St. Clair Museum. <music>